In this pickmonic, we describe the bacteria Neisseria meningitidis as the ninth men in tights, and you can remember them in this precarious scene where they are pitted against the menacing chef with three axes. Neisseria meningitidis, also called meningococcus, is a gram-negative bacteria, illustrated as the gram-cracker-negative devil, and is a diplococci, the double cockeyes, describing its appearance as two round joined cells. Neisseria are fastidious organisms that require special nutrient supplements to grow in laboratory cultures. Specifically, you should be aware that they grow on a medium named for its color, called chocolate auger, seen here as the chocolate bar, and can also be isolated on Thayer Martin media, shown by the thief driving the stolen Aston Martin car. Thayer Martin media is also referred to as VPN auger, depicted as the VPN lettering on the license plate, and this is aptly named for the vancomycin, polymyxin, and nystatin antibiotics, which facilitate the growth of Neisseria. Characteristically, these bacteria are oxidase positive, pictured as the ox daisy, meaning they produce the enzyme cytochrome C oxidase. Neisseria meningitidis participates in maltose fermentation, the malt liquor fern, and additionally it is glucose fermenting, portrayed as the glue bottle fern. This is important for differentiating Neisseria meningitidis from Neisseria gonorrhea, as Neisseria gonorrhea only ferments glucose. A key virulence mechanism of these bacteria is the presence of an endotoxin, shown as the unpopped toxic balloon, which is a lipo-oligosaccharide in the membrane of Neisseria meningitidis, the lips sac capsule in the membrane. This lipo-oligosaccharide functions to maintain membrane stability and when released in the bloodstream, instigates a systemic inflammatory response with shock and destruction of red blood cells. These bacteria also have an antiphagocytic polysaccharide capsule, represented as the polysac capsule, which aids in the evasion of the host immune response. Moreover, Neisseria meningitidis produces IgA protease, depicted as the IgA apple goblin with a propeller ace for protease, which cleaves immunogenic IgA as another virulence mechanism. Now, symptoms can rapidly progress from fatigue to meningitis with fever headache, and neck stiffness. If toxic levels of the endotoxin reach the bloodstream, meningococcal sepsis can develop. Complications to be aware of in meningococcal infections include waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome, pictured as the water house, which describes massive bleeding into the adrenal glands, ultimately manifesting as adrenal gland failure or adrenal insufficiency, shown by the damaged adrenal gland. Overwhelming meningococcal infection can further develop into disseminated intravascular coagulation associated with widespread petechial rash, represented as the tiki mask with a rash. Treatment for Neisseria meningitidis infections start with antibiotic therapy, typically with a third-generation cephalosporin such as ceftriaxone, the chef triaxis, while rifampin can be used for prophylaxis, the ref amp with purple axes. Of note, another preventative measure available is the meningococcal vaccine. So let's quickly review Neisseria meningitidis. This is a gram-negative organism that is observed as a diplococci. It requires special growth mediums, such as chocolate auger, along with Thayer Martin media, which is also called VPN. This bacteria is oxidase positive and can be distinguished from Neisseria gonorrhea as it is maltose fermenting and glucose fermenting while Neisseria gonorrhea only ferments glucose. Unique virulence mechanisms of this organism can include the presence of an endotoxin called lipo-oligosaccharide, which exists in the membrane, along with a polysaccharide capsule and IgA protease. Patients who develop meningococcal sepsis are at risk for developing waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome, and this massive adrenal hemorrhage can lead to adrenal insufficiency. As a result of DIC, petechial rash may also develop. Treatment begins with administration of the antibiotic ceftriaxone, while rifampin can be used for prophylaxis. These men in tights were using their knives to sit back and make themselves a well-deserved snack while camping in Sherwood Forest. They're roasting graham cracker negative devil crackers for s'mores. But then, one of them does a double take and goes all cockeyed when he sees that one vital ingredient is missing for their treat. 
they only have graham crackers and a chocolate bar, which means some thief stole their marshmallows. Just then, he hears them take off in an Aston Martin car. They were able to write down his VPN license plate and began to track him down. It wasn't easy. The forest is dense and filled with ox daisies and ferns galore. Luckily, the thief hit a malt fern and a sticky glue fern on his way, which left tracks and really slowed him down. The men in tights catch up to the thief and see that the marshmallows were not the only thing he had stolen. He also had an unpopped toxic balloon and a lip sack filled with capsules, and another poly sack with capsules flying high. He was definitely planning a party. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our gram-negative diplococci picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Neisseria gonorrhea characteristics, Neisseria gonorrhea disease, Neisseria meningitidis, Moraxella catarrhalis, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient. Effective and research proven to increase exam scores.